Good morning, darlings. I am making another video, and this one is about finding your focus. As you know, uh, there are so many different aspects of the pagan path that uh, others don't really delve into. So um, I'm going to take you along with my little list of interests that keep boggling my mind, and I don't know where to begin. So here we go. Firstly, I'll just blaze right through the list and then I'll talk a little bit about each one. There are not that many. Two, four, nine, seven, eight, nine, 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 14 different things that I want to study more and learn more about than I have already. Here we go. Herbalism, tarot, oracle, palmistry, candle magic, healing and energy work, astral projection, the moon phases, astrology, Viking and Celtic mythology, dreams, spirit contact, aromatherapy, and channeling. Let's start with dreams, because I am just obsessed with dreams. I have two huge, I'm sure there are more out there, but these are my favorite dictionaries. This one, I would pick over this one. But I have been just obsessed with dreams forever. And it all started, I think, when I was 17 or so. My A boyfriend of mine had passed away and he was visiting me in my dreams. And he would show me uh, symbolisms and have messages for me. And it's I know people say it's just your subconscious working. But it's more than that. Come on. You're able to travel anywhere and to speak with whomever you please. This is where my interest in astral projection comes in and uh, just having out-of-body experiences. But I'm going to make another video just talking about dreams because I'm so... That's Odin jumping around. I am so um, enthralled and fascinated with the unconscious travel. It's amazing. I never really understood people who don't recall their dreams and don't try to do more to remember them. But I digress. Let's talk tarot. This is my first tarot deck I ever got and it's one of those little travel size fun ones you get at Barnes and Noble and I was 13 years old when I got it and I got it while standing in line with my mom and she wasn't all about me having it but later she had told me that uh, my great aunt Blanche had offered to do her tarot many times and she also wanted to do the uh, tea leaf readings for my mom and my mom would always uh, kindly decline. Odin, you're dropping everything. Odin has a cold. Um... Oracle decks. Uh, this is my first one. I just got this a few months ago and I just ordered the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms after uh, seeing a post on my Google Plus and I had to have this one because it was so beautiful and I just connected with the imagery right away. But I want to tell you about the Wisdom of the Crone because for quite a few months my mother has been referring to herself as a crone. I love it. So after hearing my mom call herself a crone forever, I walked into a store, oops, upside down, and saw this and picked it up. And it's been an amazing find, an amazing connection ever since. And I believe in another video, I'll delve into the maiden mother crone uh, imagery and thought pattern because I, that's Odin playing with the toy. Uh, because I myself, I'm only 25, but I would, I will be sharing with you my journey from maiden to motherhood to cronehood. And that's another reason why I got this deck. Astrology! I love astrology. I don't know why. I am 100% Gemini through and through. And it's scary, but this book is amazing. This is another good find if you ever are interested. The Astrology Bible by Judy Hall. It's just, I love the color coordinated and the, it's just super easy to read. Towards the back, it really gets scientific with um, planet pattern and different 
different maps such as these. I love maps as well, but for the life of me, I really need a sit down. Odin! Really need a sit down to really study this. And I remember hearing the word horoscope and zodiac. You know, in grade school, you get your newspaper every Sunday and you look at your zodiac. You see if you're going to fall in love or get the money or whatever. So, but in grade school, it's kind of a no no herbalism. I have lots of herbalism things around my house. This is not my only book. I have two others in my car. I don't know why. I have just become obsessed. I don't know if you can, it's probably too bright. My herbs are growing in the window. I have them outside. I have them drying under there. I have them stored in my cabinet down here and I feel <laughs> my partner is uh, is getting a little tired of the herbs. But um, it's just fascinating. I've never taken chemistry. I never was one for science. But I think, honestly, what triggered the herbalism interest was seeing the Owens sisters garden in Practical Magic all those years ago and saying, holy cow, I want that. I want to be able to go in to my greenhouse, pick whatever I need, and go to town. It's just something I really wanted to look into for the longest time. So now I am, and now I'm starting to really um, practice, and I'm excited. Let's see what's next. Spirit Contact, I'm going to make another video about that, probably in along with the Astral Projection Dreams video. Candle Magic, yes, this is Stevie Nicks, and yes, this is a devotional candle that I have not used. I refu refuse to use it until Stevie, heaven forbid, passes away. So that's when it will be lit, and I will be in mourning forever. So, but Candle Magic... And the power of flame and color, and um, I just want to learn what are all the different ways that candle magic can be used. I'm not sure if anybody else has seen it. You can get it at a Barnes & Noble, but the Witch's Date Book. Uh, I had the regular calendar layout, uh, you know, the big one with the numbers on the bottom and the picture on the top last year, and then I found this guy, and it's awesome. It has every day of the year. And a little space and what the moon phase is. Oh, moon phases. That's the other one I was going to talk about. It has every moon phase. And what corresponding um, astral sign goes with it. What house it's in. What color to use. I had to get up and find my phone so I could show you this really cool app. It's called Moon Deluxe. And it takes you through every day of the year. Odin's still playing. I've always been obsessed with the moon. I have no idea why, so last year, I'm um, going through a really hard time, I now hold it with me every day of my life. Palmistry. Ah, palmistry is fascinating, and I can't tell you, my lines have changed. I used to do readings before I met my now partner, and going through and developing our relationship, my lines have altered and it's the craziest, craziest things. These are my interests and I don't know where to begin. Everybody says, just pick one. Learn everything to learn about one thing and then move on. I, I just don't work that way. I'm a Gemini. I bounce from one thing to another. As you can see from this video, I feel all over the place this morning. It's very rainy. And I love it. It's starting to clear up a little bit, but every single California day of rain that we can get, we'll take it. And I've added one more thing to my list, is learning more about the Celtic goddess, the Morrigan. And I don't, I don't know what it is. I'll probably make a full video of it, but I only heard her name three or four days ago. And everything is just clicking together for some reason. Everything that I've gone through in the last, I don't know, six years of my life, is really, really coming down strong on uh, this goddess. So I am looking forward to learning more about her. Is that it? That's it for now, probably. So there's more videos to come. I hope everybody could tag along with this. And did I forget anything? Okay.